calling you a radical. More proof that America is nothing but a fucking cliche. And they're pure ignorant. Recency is all. I mean, they got memories this long. I mean, do you have erectile dysfunction? Fuck. It's pathetic. So the NBA 75, should that guy be on there? No. One of the greatest college basketball, well, maybe he's top three greatest college basketball players of all time. Should he be on the NBA top seven? No. Hell no. Let's compare and contrast. Should Damian Lillard? No. Should Anthony da hey, Damian Lillard? Please. Anthony Davis? I mean, maybe they will be. Over time, I highly doubt it. I did the play-by-play -play for Damian Lillard when he played at Weber State. He couldn't even win a Big Sky Championship. They were hit by 22 points and lost. And I like Damian, don't get me wrong. He sure doesn't deserve on this fucking list. Let's compare and contrast. Him, as an NBA player, playing the same time against each other as JoJo White. Ha! Ha! That's like a Bugatti to a freaking Pinto. He was broke down. He was an alcoholic. He was a mess. He never won. I mean, extremely mediocre player. in the, I mean, on ho bad teams? Oh, yeah. Well, I shouldn't say that because that Hawks, er, Hawks team was pretty good. Blue Hudson. That dude was good, but Maravich was a mess. He was an alcoholic. He does not deserve to be on the... The biggest snub of them all is this guy could be top 10. And there's a player who's a top 10 player that didn't get on the list. He could. Be, there's a great argument to put him in the top 10. Tommy Hines. Bill Russell. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's the GOAT. And then MJ and Kareem. But... Let's get real. Tommy Heinsohn, oh, he lit it up. They were rookies the same together. They played together. He has 10 fucking rings. 10 fucking rings. Oh, my God, what a play. They snubbed all the 50s players. <laughs> what about Slater Martin? What about Vern Mickelson? They, uh, who? What? Uh, huh, huh. I thought winning mattered. I thought winning mattered. Anthony Davis? How many, how many years has he been in the league? Are you fucking kidding me? Damian Lillard? <laughs> oh my god you know Lillard might end up on that list at some point but he sure ain't fucking right now again I did the play by the I know Damien personally uh, I don't care for his style I don't give a, care for what he does with his money his records his you know his slave make gear all of it and I'm not a, I'm not a fan of his actions when he played I was a big supporter of his and he knew me personally I did the play by play you know you know, I'm not a fan of his, his actions, but this is not about that. This is about their actions on the floor. This isn't a personality guy, and I like his personality. Well, I shouldn't say that. What he does with his money makes me fucking want to vomit. But anyway, he doesn't deserve even to be close on this fucking list. Anthony Davis doesn't even deserve to be close on this fucking list. Pete Maravich does not even deserve to be close on this fucking list. Again, let's compare and contrast JoJo White to fucking Pete Maravich. And don't, I'm a huge Pete Maravich fan. In college, I fucking loved him. In fact, I'm friends with Bob Remy. You can ask Bob Remy. He's a statistician for the New Orleans Jazz. I have, fuck, I have so much of Pete Maravich's stuff from when he played. I have a pair of his socks, you know? Lots of his stuff, because Bob Remy gave him to me. He's the statistician for the jazz, including this. <laughs> I thought winning mattered. But, what a fuck. It just proves again. The United States, I mean, it's a fucking joke. Recency? It's a cliche. I swore off the NBA 20 fucking years ago. I pay attention. But I'm not going to pay five cents. I'll look, listen to a game on the radio, especially playoff time. I was dating a girl here. This is quite a few back. Richard Johansson. She was a language professor. Kevin, let's go to the game. No. 
Finally, she talked me into it. We go down to the Jazz game. I had season tickets the first year the Jazz was fucking here. Should break out those. I have those. Hundred and forty dollars for the year. It was a package, but it was almost every game. Front row under the basket. Playoff game, first Jazz playoff game, 1984. Fastest of them all, Ricky Green. What a player that dude was. Speaking of that, where's Mo Cheeks on this fucking list? <laughs> where's Guy Rogers? $12. So the biggest snubs is JoJo White. Guy Rogers. Vern Mickelson. Slater Martin. Where the fuck? Oh my God. Tommy Heinzen. Tommy Heinzen, there's an argument. He can make it to top 10, definitely top 20. So they took the 50 list and just went, I mean, $12 courtside right behind the fucking bench, right at midcourt. Jazz first guy. I've said it for years. So we go to the game, the Jazz game. I had season tickets. Battistone, you send us around. You know me, the activist. And this historic, ongoing PhD. I'm not a YouTube vlogger. That's the last thing I am. I'm a PhD. I'm an activist that makes a difference. So we go into the game, her and I. We park 9 million miles away because they rob you on parking, you know. You want a beer? Yeah, she says. I says, I'll go get us a couple. Because the ice cream line's longer than the beer line. Outrageous price beers. I remember when Battistone raised prices from a dollar to a dollar twenty-five. We were young guys, in our young twenties. We'd go to the games, take a bus down there. We protested in front of the old Salt Palace. Made media everything. Dollar sixteen ounce beers. Not only did we win, he lowered him back. He sent us over rounds for weeks. We love that guy. We love the NBA. We love the old Salt Palace. We love Frank Layden. Oh, Frank Layden, the fucking greatest. He and I are friends. You know, we sit. When I used to do the play by play for Lillard, he would sit with me. He swore at the Jazz a long time ago. I'm friends with Phil Johnson. You know, River State coach. Dick Mata coached there. I go get a beer, and when we were down there, like I said, we drank in those games. It was so wild. The Salt Palace was grand. This old fucking geezer comes down in with a yellow coat and tells Rachel and I, he says, I need to see your ID. Now, at the time, granted, she's one good looking. Hold her age incredibly, still is. I haven't, you know, I saw her when I was in Copenhagen a couple years ago. She lived in Denmark. She couldn't take this place anymore. Freaked her out. She bowled in my home. She was 30, I believe, 6 at the time, and I was 45 at the time. And she says, well, my purse is in the car. Come on. I says, fuck, dude. Do you think she looks under 21? Please. Give me a fucking break. And me and him got into it. They called security. So I says, fuck it. So I walked all the way out, fuck a mile away, got a purse, come all the way back, shield the fuck out her ID. Self right. They put up signs now and tell you when to clap. Literally, you think that's a lie? It's all bling bling. They're not fans anymore. There's no fucking fans of games. They priced those guys out. They used to be. God, it was a great sport. Utah had fans. Oh, sophisticated, smart, intellectual fans. Sports writers, they're all kind. David fucking Locke. From Hot Rod Hunley. <laughs> so fuck climb like fuck these fuckers. So this is a just a couple of years ago, a few years ago, I'm fighting cancer. This girl I know at the university says, Kevin, you wanna to go to the game? I got tickets. Good ones. No. All I got I'll pay for No. I'll buy beer. No. I'll drive. No. I'll pay for gas. No. I'll buy dinner. Nope. Let's just skip all that and go to dinner. You seriously, I'll pay for everything. I'll fray. No. It's not a fucking basketball game. I'll go over to watch Weber State's fucking game in a real league. 
where they're real athletes, where they're real fucking competitors, a real sport. It's a fucking joke. It's not about winning. It's about selling uniforms. It's about sports merchant to ask Damian Lillard. Oh, he's fell into their fucking trap. His billionaire fucking handcuffs is sick. You know, I used to talk to him all the time. He walks around with this fucking, like, it's pathetic. He doesn't deserve on this fucking list. Neither does Anthony Davis. It's just like when they, ESPN did the greatest athletes of all time and ended up with MJ, Michael Jordan in fucking 1999. That's party fucking like something. Down here, granted, he's one great fucking athlete and he, there's a serious argument that he could be the GOAT. You know, it's him, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, or I still say it's Bill Russell. But uh, he sure ain't the greatest athlete in the history of America. You know, there's lots of them. I mean, that'd be Jim Thorpe. But to this list, Pete Maravich, really? One of the most mediocre NBA careers in the history. I mean, honestly, he shouldn't be in the top. And I'm a huge Maravich fan. When he was in college, I mean, Fuck, what a player. What an athlete. What a showman. What a showboat. <laughs> what a selfish player. Oh, boy. He was no team player. I like the old team sport when it was fucking these guys. I used to fucking love it in those days. Dick Mata coached that team. And all the fans used to wear hard hats. I have one. From hard hats to crowns. It's not about winning. It's like in football. I, that's all you hear all over the radio. I mean, Dak Prescott, Dak Prescott, fucking Cowboys, Cow and they did the same thing to Tony Romo. They ruined Tony Romo. They put so much in. I remember there was a sign in the Cowboy game when he was a rookie, or when he first got on the field, was starting, starting for the Cowboys. And it said, Roger Staubach, Troy Aikman, Tony Romo. I'm like, oh my God, please. <laughs> you're talking to the greatest quarterbacks in the history of the fucking game, and you're going to put him up there already? Anthony Davis? I don't think so. I mean, at some point he might. He might. I mean, he's on his track, but he got a long way to go, baby. They snubbed JoJo White. <laughs> they snubbed Guy Rogers, Slater Martin, Vern Nicholson. Fuck, they got no memories. Who's those guys? <laughs> Guy Rogers is fucking top fucking five point guards in the history of the game. You know, Stockton never won anything. They deserve one. Oh, fuck yeah, of course. But he sure never won. But it's not about winning. It's about sports merchant. The Jazz had the same uniform for fucking 25, 30 years. They have a new one every week. Same floor. It's sports merchandise for the slave make. It's pathetic. I'm not supporting. I don't buy any of their slave. This is made in the USA. By the way, this fucking thing is fucking about as cool as it gets. Made in the USA. It's like Colin Kaepernick or taking a knee. Okay, I'm, I support him. I support him. I'm a big fan. But then he signs a contract with Nike? <laughs> I told Damian Lillard right to his face this year, fucking right to him, from me to you. And I, I don't get me wrong, I like Damian. I, I like him, he's just been sucked into this fucking Adidas contract trap. And I think he knows it. You know, he's got kids now, and I'm like, Damian, don't you think those exploited slaves in bunkers in Indonesia and China that are making all your fucking new shoes and jerseys you come out every week with, don't you think their little fingers are getting a little fucking sore? It's disturbing. Sports merchandise is disturbing. Fuck, I was at the Weaver State game. And they, hey, you want a shirt? Fuck no, I don't want to wear a shirt. When you, every game, let's have a blackout. Let's have a red out. Let's have a play out. When you can order 20,000 fucking shirts. And you know, and you're just fucking poisoning the planet. It's disgusting. There's plenty of stuff. Buy used. Buy used. Buy, I mean, so it's a fucking disgrace. Football. The most, well, all sports. The most expensive franchise in the United States, who Donald Trump says was a fucking bad investment. That's a good reason to buy. Everything he touches goes to poison, including the countercultural movement. He's toxic. So is that fuckhead Biden. So is all and then Adam Slither. Why don't we fix a fucking and then, well, let's go back to the two thousand two fucking Sacramento Kings. Do you think if he wouldn't have fixed that game that Mike Baby might have ended up on this fucking list? Vladi Diviak, they would have won the NBA championship. They admit it. Good. Look at Donahue on 60 Minutes. I mean, fucking in that federal indictment. They admit it. They fixed game six in 2002. Where's your fucking crown? And destroyed the entire franchise. They admitted it. David Stern under indictment says, well, did you call in? Donahue says you called in third quarter, 26 fucking free throws to nothing. Fouls to nothing. Did you? Well, I would just say this. You know, he's a lawyer. I cannot... 
say that we do not have a bias in wanting the Lakers to win. Would Mike Bibby be on the list? <laughs> Would Vladdy Divac? I mean, a bunch of those guys. Tony Parker? The biggest snub on this list is Tommy Heinsohn. He might be top 10. I'm not talking just as a coach and an analyst. I'm talking as a player. Ten fucking rings. And look at his fucking scoring. Guy Rogers. <laughs> you snub him? No. Mo Cheeks, I knew he'd be on the bubble. I knew Adrian Dantley would be on the fucking... Adrian Dantley's always been fucking disrespected. He belongs on the list. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Anthony Davis doesn't belong on the list. Damon Lillard does not belong on the fucking list. Fucking Pete Maravich, sure the fuck. Let's compare and contrast again JoJo White to fucking Pete Maravich. <laughs> the biggest snubs on this fucking list? Tommy Heinsohn won. JoJo, and you Celtic fans should be going fucking crazy about this. Tommy Heinsohn, JoJo White. Both of them probably top 20 players in the history of the fucking game. Winning matters. Winning matters. Guy Rogers. Vern Mickelson, Slater Martin. <laughs> the top three snubs. Tommy Heinsohn, JoJo White, Guy Rogers. <laughs> One of the most mediocre NBA. He wouldn't be in the top two, three hundred. One of the most mediocre fucking... I mean, he had 68 points in one fucking game because he was a hot dog ball hog. You know, and he was an alcoholic. His NBA career was a fucking train wreck. A train. I watched him play here in Utah for his whole 11 games he played. He was a train wreck. The greatest college basketball player of all time? Maybe. Maybe. And I'm still a huge fan of his, especially in college. But not in the NBA. <laughs> Just goes to show they took that old 50 list. The 50 list got it wrong. So it's a fucking joke. So the Cowboys haven't won a playoff game since, I mean, they haven't won anything since 1995. They have the worst win and loss record fucking probably in the NFL, one of them, in the last 25 years. Yet there were 6.5, the most valuable. Redskins are two or three. You got a racist, sexist, you know, we see Gruden's fucking emails, but we don't see fucking, you know, who he's talked to, probably Daniel Snyder, probably Jerry Jones. I mean, we don't see the other side. It's like the nuclear energy bell out in Ohio. Fucking Energy Solutions Stadium, go Browns. And we see they, one of the guys who got charged, legislator, blew his head off. Larry Hassel was going to prison. The other two are going to prison. And South Carolina goes to prison. But the people that bribed them, corporations are people. Adam Slither. Don, he went to prison for fixing the 2002 fucking game. Where's your fucking crown? Mike Bibby. How good was he? They destroyed that franchise. They destroyed those guys' careers. David Stern did that. And now we have Adam Slither, Barry Antoinette, Obama's buddy. It's a disgrace. Cowboys the most fucking valuable one. Winning doesn't matter. Branded! Branded, just like politics. Red pill, fucking blue pill, fucking <laughs> dogma reinforcement. This list is pathetic. Damien Lillard. <laughs> I, again, I did the play-by-play. Damien Lillard hit by 20 points at halftime. The Montana people that were sitting next to me doing the play-by-play -play for their radio station left at halftime because they wanted to avoid the storm and says, this game's over. And a lot. He never played an inside tournament. He never won anything. He never won the Big Sky Championship the whole time he was there. Now, is that all his fault? No. But And someday, Damian Lillard might make this list. But at this point, no. And Anthony Davis has played, a, what, a couple? I don't think. I mean, at some point, yeah, he'd probably get on there if he'd stay healthy. But staying healthy is a big part of this fucking league. Ask John Stockton. Ask Carl Malone. Ask Michael Jordan. Fucking, it's pathetic. It's pathetic. JoJo White and him played together. <laughs> uh, fucking JoJo White, fucking one of the greatest fucking, well, he's top 20 players in the history of the NBA. Tommy Hines and might be top 10. <laughs> Guy Rogers. <laughs> Mo Cheeks, I understand. That'd be right. I knew he'd be on the bubble. Andrew Tony was the guy in that team. But anyway, Adrian Dantley. I knew he'd be right on the edge. He always has been disrespected his whole fucking life, his whole career. What a fucking player in the NBA. What a score. He desires on the list. Adrian Danley belongs on this fucking list. He doesn't. Not even close. Neither is Anthony Davis. Neither is Damian Lillard. <laughs> fucking joke. America's a cliche. Fuck the NBA. It's not a sport. When are you going to wake up and realize professional sports aren't sports? 
Entertainment Tonight! I've been calling it Entertainment Tonight for years. You know, that's why I go to the college games. That's why I still do the play-by-play -play for Weber State football and basketball because they're real athletes in a real fucking sport. <laughs> Stay tuned.